Hey everyone, this is Paul, and today we're going to cover what is the best free antivirus that you could have for Windows 7, 10, and 11. We'll talk about do you even need an antivirus? Yes, 100%. But do you need a third party antivirus? Do you need to pay for any antivirus or security software? And lastly, would an antivirus slow down your PC? Okay, so let's get started and let's end it right here. In my opinion, the best free antivirus for you is the built-in Windows Defender. And it's not just me. If you Google and take a look at places like Reddit, the general consensus is that it works great and more than good enough for like 99% of the people. It's also what I've been using personally for the last few years. And since I'm my friends and family's tech support, it's what they all been using as well. We've had zero problems so far. Also, this is an honest opinion. I'm not being sponsored by Microsoft or Windows Defender team. In fact, I think Microsoft doesn't even like me from all the things I say about them. But one area they really shine is their antivirus. So the thing is, Windows Defender used to be not that good. Their detection rate was pretty poor. Then it got better, but now it's really, really good. In fact, I think it's better than many paid antiviruses out there. So by now, I'm sure you have some questions. So you're saying Windows Defender is good enough for me? Yes. What about a firewall? Windows has a built-in firewall as well. Okay, so I don't need to pay for any antivirus. Nope. I don't believe you. Good. Don't believe someone on the internet without doing your own research. For me, I mostly do my research by looking at two websites that benchmark many different types of antiviruses. The two websites are avtest.org and avcomparatives.org. I'll leave the links in the description below. So organizations like this puts many different antiviruses side by side and perform a whole bunch of tests like their detection rate, false positives, and the performance impact it has on your system. So let's start by looking at avtests.org. If you scroll down and click on Windows Defender, you can see how they scored. Scroll down again, take a look at their zero day malware attacks. Then take a look at their detection of widespread and prevalent malware. They are both at 100%. So basically they got a perfect score on their detection and security. The only downside here is the performance. There is barely any performance impact when you're using Windows Defender. However, it's only when you're installing a new program that performance slows down a bit. This is completely fine by me. Think about it guys. How often do you install something new on your PC? And does it really matter if the install takes a few more seconds given the amazing protection that you're getting? The usability is great too because it comes built in and there's barely any false positives or nagging screens like you get with many antiviruses out there. Now, let's look at the other website, avcomparatives.org. So from the websites, I'm going to scroll down to real world protection test, July to October. If you scroll down from here, you can see all the antiviruses that they tested. And this is really detailed. So I do recommend you guys visiting here if this is something you're interested in. As I mentioned, the links are in the description. So if you keep scrolling down, you can see the test results. Now take a look at Microsoft Windows Defender. It blocked 99.7% of the virus and had zero false positive. Compare that to AVs that offer a paid version of the software. For example, Malwarebytes. It blocked 99.6% and had 12 false positive. Then we have ESET, 
and they only blocked 98.9% of the viruses. And then we have Avira, which blocked 99.2% and had one false positive. So if you compare the results, Windows Defender scored better than them. You're getting one of the best protection by just using what comes in as the default. So why would you go out of your way to install a third party antivirus, much less pay for one? Leave your thoughts in the comment below because I am curious. So this pretty much concludes the video. Just to summarize, in my opinion, stick with Windows Defender. If you have a third party antivirus, feel free to uninstall it so that Windows Defender can take over as the default antivirus. But if you want to learn more on why I don't recommend using a third party antivirus, then keep watching. Before we continue, I have to give a quick disclaimer so that I don't get sued. This video is intended to be for educational and information purposes only. Nothing I say here today is antivirus advice. Past antivirus performance is not an indicator of future antivirus results. New virus gets created every day, therefore the antivirus market is very volatile. Before making any antivirus decisions, please consult your own security advisors. So here's why I don't recommend using a third party antivirus. Because that's potentially another company that collects data about you, especially if they're free. First thing I want you guys to remember, nothing is free. There's always a catch. For example, let's take a look at Avast slash AVG, the most popular consumer antivirus. Around the beginning of 2020, an article was posted stating they got caught red handed harvesting and selling their own user data. They were basically selling your browsing data and other activities. So imagine that a security company that's supposed to keep you safe is the one collecting and selling your data. In their defense, they said they stopped doing it ever since. But do they really stop? Are you sure they didn't just come up with other ways to collect? And what about other antivirus that claims to be free? Are they innocent? I don't know. I guess that's the risk you take. Now, don't get me wrong. Microsoft aren't angels either. According to several articles online, by default, they're also collecting data about you. That's why we have a program called Windows 10 slash 11 optimizer to turn off all data collection, speed up performance, remove ads and bloatware from your windows. So yes, they're collecting data, but they're not collecting more data just for you using Windows Defender. Does that make sense? Basically, whatever data they're collecting, they're already doing it from you using Windows, not from using Windows Defender. So like, hey, I mean, it's not the best case, but at least it's not the worst case, right? I guess. So anyway, those are my thoughts. Now, if you guys want to make your Windows 10 or 11 run as fast as possible, then check out Pegasun System Utilities. It's a software we built and it's been fine tuned for over a decade. Basically, it makes your slow PC run as fast as possible. You get benefits like faster web browsing, videos, and gaming performance. You also extend the life of your PC by making it run cooler. You get better battery health and life on laptops, and so much more. I also have a full dedicated video on how to speed up your Windows-based PC. I show you step by step on what to do and why you doing what you do speeds up your PC. I'll leave a link in the description below. Also, the program has a completely free version, which does most of what you need to make it faster. But wait a minute, you said nothing is free. So what's the catch? The catch is if you enjoyed the free version and noticed your computer got faster, we hope you upgrade to the premium version, which includes few other tools like Windows 10 slash 11 optimizer and turbo mode to make your PC even faster. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more Windows tips. Thanks everyone and have a great day.